Well, hello traders. Welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing you how to install the new trade panel and that is the new version 3 and onwards. The installation procedure is going to be very similar to basically the rest of the tools. It'll be fairly straightforward, but I'll do a video specifically here for the trade panel. Now, when you download the files, you're going to have two key files. Right? You'll have a DLL and you'll have a EX4 file, okay, which is the MT4 component. Now, the way this panel works is it uses the Windows operating system to draw the panel, which is the DLL component, and the MT4 software component is in the EX4 file. So with the DLL, it is a common file with all the tools, um, or it's always best practice to keep the DLL file updated and all the tools will you know, benefit from the updated DLL. But you'll need the updated DLL here. Uh, if we go to properties and have a look, this one is 1.3, so you can check the version there. So you wanna use the uh, higher version DLL there. Okay, so where do these files go? Very straightforward. Go file, open data folder, and come into your MT4 here. Open the MQL4 folder. And there's two folders of interest here. Libraries is where the DLL file will be placed. So we open that and we can simply just drag that DLL file in here. Now, if you've used any of my tools before, that DLL file may be uh, already, it might be already there. If it is there, you'll have to close MT4 down first because the DLL file will be in use and you can't override it while it's in use. So close MT4 down first, copy the DLL file over then restart MT4. Actually, before you restart MT4, probably best to copy the Expert Advisor component. An Expert Advisor just means it's a MT4 app that has permissions to, um, it's more, more permissions than an indicator. It has access to actually uh, be able to place trades on your account. Uh, so that's why Forex robots, etc., are known as um, Expert Advisors. So the Expert Advisors, uh, type app goes into the experts folder very simple and we put that in there okay now we close that down that's basically the files where they need to go if you're overriding a dll you should have restarted now what we can do here is we can just right click refresh and you'll see it pop up if you didn't need to restart but if you restart uh, this will automatically pop up so if you don't see the file here then you're doing something wrong uh, you should at least see the file here, even if you don't put the DLL in, the, the uh, MT4 platform should recognize the expert advisor part if you put it in the correct folder. Now, if you're using one of those Windows emulators on macOS like, or Linux, Wine, I've had dealings with War Room members that have had difficulty getting that to work. That ended up being resolved because the Windows or the Wine emulator was looking for the files in a different place or something like that. So you'll have to do some investigating there. Okay, so now the files are installed. Before we open it, we need to do a few things. We need to enable the MT4 platform. Uh, we basically give the expert advisor here, all right, we need to give it permission to be able to open trades. And the easiest way to do this is go tools, options. We click on expert advisors. Okay, allow automated trading is one element you need to have checked there. So make sure that's checked. And you also need to have this guy here checked, allow DLL imports, all right? And that basically allows the expert advisor to use the code inside the DLL. If you're ever using a DLL file from somewhere else, make sure that you trust the DLL and make sure that you trust the person giving it to you because uh, potentially it can contain malware or something like that. So that's basically done there. So we can open the trade panel and you'll see some information pops up uh, about the trade panel. Uh, if you're updating the trade panel in the future to newer versions, you'll just probably want to pay attention to the version here. Make sure that when you reload the trade panel that you have the right version installed. Like if you're updating, you just want to check if the if you've updated to the right version. Uh, we're gonna to need to go to the common tab and check that out. Uh, make sure allow live trading is checked. And again, that allow DLL imports is checked. If you enabled them in the tools menu, that's a global option. If you've done that, then these should automatically be checked. 
if you don't enable them globally, you'll have to ch yeah, manually check these every time you load the EA. So just uh, remember that. Now the inputs, here is where you put in your War Room information here or your credentials. If you're using a demo version of the software, I haven't built that yet, but I'll use this video for that as well. It'll probably contain credentials that you will need to put in here. And so once you put in your War Room, username and password, uh, it should work and that's all we need to do here. I'll talk about these other input settings later, but they're basically default settings for the panel. So you can set up your default settings, save your default settings, and then your panel will automatically load with those default settings uh, each time, saving you have to change them. We click OK, and it should log in, and voila, this is the new trade panel. And there's a lot of options here, don't be intimidated at all. In the following videos, I will talk about how to use the panel effectively. It can be used for very simple orders to very complicated orders, but it makes it all easy. All right, one more thing. You need to actually have this button up here enabled. This is the final switch that you need to turn on to be able to actually allow the panel to trade. So, so just make sure you've enabled everything I've said in the video because if anything of those options are turned off, the panel will not work. All right, so before you get started, uh, playing around with the panel, make sure you do it on a demo account first so you can familiarize yourself and just check if it's working. If the panel does not appear, okay, please check the expert tabs down here, okay? And we can see that we've got everything, we've got no errors here, but if something goes wrong, an error will usually pop up in the experts tab down here, and then we can um, decipher what's going on. Now, if you're using Windows 7, Windows 7 you will need to install Microsoft Framework 4.5 in order for the DLL to be able to be read. Otherwise, you'll get some sort of access violation here about the DLL. It's basically the computer telling you it can't read the DLL, it doesn't understand it. You've got to get that framework, install it. It's free from Microsoft website uh, and you'll be good to go there. So it definitely works with Windows 7 up. And again, with those guys that are using Mac OS and Linux, your emulators that you're using, which is, um, I think, VirtualBox and Wine. Uh, I'm not familiar with them, but you'll definitely need to make sure you have uh, the Microsoft Framework 4.5 uh, installed into those as well. So um, have fun with the panel, and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial video.